A lot of people like to see the work as uh, psychedelic or otherworldly or sci-fi. I mean, the beauty of that abstraction that I work in is that it's open to a lot of different types of interpretation. None of them are wrong. I'm very comfortable in all of it. But to me, it's really just me trying to explain the world as I see it. Sketches are just ideas just to put some things out there, but rarely does a piece ever end up coming out the way I drew it, you know, that's not really the point. The point is when I sketch, it's really just kind of an exercise of like thinking about shapes and lines and where they could go and not. I have fun with that kind of mystery where it's like, I, you know, I try not to plan it too much, even though the work seems very highly planned, but it's much closer to me playing jazz. Just, I only know my next step. And then these structures and compositions just kind of emerge out of it. So I, I have a lot of fun. I, I am the viewer, at, you know, as I make the work. If I would plan some of these pieces up front, I, I'd be too intimidated to even begin. I usually approach the piece, you know, I, I, I start with a wooden surface. So this is just like a wood panel, generally like a box to give it like a thicker edge. And then you want to imagine it like a sandwich. I just basically apply color and then epoxy resin goes on like a liquid and then hardens. And then I do that about four, five, six, sometimes up to eight times. And so I have these colors and shapes that are just sandwiched in between these very transparent resin layers. And that's how I build the dimension of it. And it becomes this like three-dimensional looking paintings. And you don't need any glasses to, to see it because the transparent layers help the shapes cast shadows. And so it gives you that the further away feel of uh, you know the first layers being kind of really far in the back. And so in the span of like a quarter inch, I can make it appear like there's you know 20 feet distance in like you know a piece that you want to imagine that way. I know what it means to me. And what it means to me is um, you know the visualization of a certain common ground. A, language that seems to be working for everyone, color and shape, and the hidden structures that really surround us on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm a classically trained painter, so the work that I used to do was very much representational. And I sort of hit the ceiling with that early on where I just needed something else to explain certain issues that I had on my mind. And so I kind of stumbled upon the abstraction, slowly these Paintings are starting to become sculptures. Shapes are starting to emerge where they're now, the layers are much more extended and protrude out. And they go all the way to just like, even the shapes themselves don't become these traditional squares or rectangles anymore. They become more varied. Again, just because I'm trying to imagine the work take on all kinds of dimensions. And these are still three-dimensional semi-sculptural works that are hanging on a wall, but you know, they're also becoming freestanding sculptures like pieces over there. And you know, it's just, again, all just models for much larger things that I hope to bring to life in the future. The medium is really secondary as far as I'm concerned. You know, um, a lot of people categorize me as a resin artist because I do use a lot of epoxy resin in my work. But I started using resin only because it had this quality of becoming invisible. And so it's not something I'm trying to emphasize, I'm trying to take away. Because I want uh, the work to be as light and tangible and just be able to exist in many different forms as possible. It visually exists somewhere between the past and the future and hopefully becomes something very of the moment and contemporary. Just had a show in Seoul, South Korea. And so again, that's the beauty of this abstract work is that it really appeals to a lot of people and you can communicate with people of different cultures and languages quite easily. And they either get it or they don't. But when they get it, it's like you're almost speaking the same language. And so it's been really rewarding in that sense. You can check out Locastro's Future Forward Aesthetic at FrancescoLocastro.com.